Hi kids! Today we will learn about patterns. What are terms in a pattern? What are term numbers? Growing patterns, shrinking patterns, repeating patterns, making various different patterns using addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So let's get started. Here is a pattern. First of all, how many terms are there in this pattern? Each number here is a different term. So here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms in this pattern. Let's give term numbers to the terms. We have given turn numbers from 1 to 7. To each term, that is, there are 7 terms in this pattern, where term number of 11 is 1, term number of 33 is 3, and so on. Now, let's learn different types of patterns. Kids, here is a pattern. Can you see and tell what type of pattern is it? Here, the numbers are growing or increasing by each successive term. So it's a growing pattern. What should be the next term in this growing pattern? Here, with every successive term, we are adding 11 to the term. So to find out next term or the eighth term, we will add 11 to 77. 77 plus 11, we get 88. So eighth term would be 88. There is another way too. Here, we can see that every term is term number multiplied by 11. Like the term number 1 is 11 multiplied by 1, that is 11. Term number 3 is 3 multiplied by 11, that is 33. Term 4 is 4 multiplied by 11, that is 44. So, if we have to find out the 9 term, we can say that it will be 9 multiplied by 11, which is equal to 99. Now, let's see more examples of growing patterns. Here, what should be the next term? Here we have two ways to find the next term. One is we are adding 2 to every next term. 2 plus 2, we are getting 4. 4 plus 2, we are getting 6. 6 plus 2, we are getting 8. Other way is we are multiplying term number with 2 to get the term number 1 is 1 multiplied by 2. Turn number 2 is 2 multiplied by 2. Term number 3 is 3 multiplied by 2. Term number 4 is 4 multiplied by 2. So finding next term or 8th term here, we can multiply 8 with 2. We can get 16. Or we can add 2 to the 7th term. That is, adding 2 to 14, we get 16. Now, have a look at more examples of growing patterns. This is an example of growing pattern. Here we are adding 3 with each successive term. Here is another growing pattern. Here we are multiplying with 3 like the first term is 5. Second term is first term multiplied with 3. 
Now the next term is 15 multiplied with 3. And the next term is 45 multiplied with 3. And the next term is 135 multiplied with 3. Now, let's learn another type of pattern. It is shrinking patterns. Here is an example. Here, the numbers are decreasing with every term. Exactly opposite to growing patterns where the numbers increase by each successive term. Now, let's find out what the next terms for this pattern is. Here, we are subtracting 10 with every term. 90 minus 10, we get 80. 80 minus 10, we get 70. 70 minus 10, we get 60, and so on. So next eighth term would be subtracting 10 from the seventh term. 30 minus 10, that is 20. So eighth term would be 20. Let's have a look at more shrinking patterns. Here we have a shrinking pattern. Here, what should be the next term? See here, we are subtracting 7 with every successive term. So the next term would be 7 minus 7, that is, the next term would be 0. Here we have another shrinking pattern. Each term decreases with the growing term number. So these are shrinking patterns. Let's have a look at some other type of patterns. They are repeating patterns. Here, the number two, four, six, and getting repeated. So it's a repeating pattern as the numbers two, four, six are repeating. What should come in the blank space here? In any repeating pattern, we first find the whore pattern, that is a term that's getting repeated. And then we can repeat it any times to grow the pattern. Here, the core pattern is two, four, six. So according to core pattern six would come after four. Now, let's have a look at more repeating patterns. These are some examples of repeating patterns. So kids, today we learned about patterns, terms, term numbers, and three types of patterns, growing patterns, shrinking patterns, repeating patterns. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!